When any object composed of an elastic material is disturbed, it vibrates at its own distinct set of frequencies. Drop a wrench and a baseball bat on the floor and you hear distinctly different sounds. Objects vibrate differently when they strike the floor. The natural frequency of an object is the frequency the object vibrates at when it is disturbed. Natural frequency depends on the elasticity and the shape of the object. The natural frequency of a small bell is higher than that of a big bell, and it rings at a higher pitch. Most things, planets, atoms, and almost everything in between, have elasticity and vibrate at one or more natural frequencies. A tuning fork by itself makes a faint sound. A tuning fork attached to a box is louder because the box is forced to vibrate. The box's larger surface sets more air in motion. A forced vibration occurs when an object is made to vibrate by another vibrating object that is nearby. The vibration of guitar strings would be almost inaudible if they weren't transmitted to the guitar's body. A piano has a soundboard that amplifies the piano's string vibration. Without the soundboard, the piano would make tiny plinking sounds. When the string is plucked, the wash tub is set into forced vibration and serves as a sounding board. If the frequency of forced vibrations matches an object's natural frequency, a phenomenon called resonance dramatically increases the amplitude. You pump your legs on a swing in rhythm with the swing's natural frequency. Timing is more important than the force you use. Even small pumps in rhythm with the swing can produce large amplitudes. If two tuning forks are adjusted to the same frequency, striking one fork sets the other fork into vibration. Each compression of a sound wave gives the prong a tiny push. The frequency of these pushes matches the frequency of the fork so the pushes increase the amplitude of the fork's vibration. If the forks are not adjusted for matching frequencies, the timing of the pushes will be off and resonance will not occur. When you tune a radio, you're adjusting the natural frequency of its electronics to one of the many incoming signals. The radio resonates to the station with the same frequency and amplifies its signal. Resonance can have some very drastic effects. There's a good reason not to practice opera in the kitchen. <laughs>